and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my April TBR. If you watched my March wrap up, I am wearing the same shirt. Sorry. We are filming me at the same time. Yeah, last month I did a little fun um, TBR jar picks my TBR, obviously. TBR jar prompts picks my TBR. And I got inspiration from a few creators. They always do like some fun things with how they're picking their TBR. And it was really fun. I actually only read one out of four of the books that were picked last video, but today we're gonna pick two or three and I'm gonna make it a goal to read them. So just so you guys know, that is the plan. So we're gonna do our little prompt pulling and then we're gonna go to my bookshelf and pick some books. And then we're gonna talk about the rest of the books I'm reading this month. So let's get started. I'm actually really excited because I need some good books, so let's hope, hope that these prompts are good. Okay. Oh, okay, a middle grade or YA novel. Grade or YA novel. So that obviously means, it means what it says. I don't know if I should pick my book first. I might pick my other two prompts and then we go. Let's do that. Well, to pick two more prompts so this is the first one i'm very excited about this i don't even know if i have anything on my shelf so we'll have to see number two okay this one's like thick. <laughs> okay history novel okay interesting these these are interesting picks so far so let's do one more And then the last one is recommended by a friend. So those are our three prompts. And now we're going to go to my bookshelf and try to pick out three books that match these. Here is my TBR bookshelf. There's only books on like the four shelves, so I have it kind of angled down. But I'm just going to look. I'm going to start with... We're just gonna go in order with middle grade or YA novel. Um, I don't even know if I have any, so I'm gonna double check. I had to do some researching because I think I have two young adult um, books on my shelf right now. They're both the start of a series. I knew this is a young adult book, but I wasn't sure about this, so I did look it up and it said it is. If it's not, I don't know, but I think I might do this as my middle grade. It said it's for 12 year olds which I'm pretty sure middle grade is 8 to 12 so I think I'm gonna do this book for my prompt that says a middle grade or YA novel and then I think I'm gonna do a good girl's guide to murder for my mystery because I'm pretty sure this book is a mystery if not I don't know what it is so that means we just have one left and that is recommended by a friend so I'm gonna look on my shelf Okay, I think the two books I'm going between is One Day or The Bell Jar. Major recommended One Day. She's obsessed with it. She actually gave me this copy. And then The Bell Jar was recommended by my friend Libby. I think I'm kind of leaning towards One Day just because I watched the show last month um, and Major is like obsessed with it. So I think those are my three books. So we're going to go back and sit down and talk about all the books I plan to read in April. Okay, I feel like I kind of have a lot, a lot of books that I have to read in April. So we're going to start with books that relate to school. The first one I think I have to read is The Paston Woman. Um, it's a selected letters from medieval women so i'm going to be reading a large hefty chunk of this book so i'm going to go ahead and count this as i'm i'm reading the full text um but yeah this is the first one um for another class i need to read pride and prejudice and then twilight i am doing an adaptation profile of how twilight is an adaptation of pride and prejudice so i will be reading both of these these will both be rereads which I'm definitely okay doing. I always love reading Twilight. So these are the books for school. I'm probably reading some more that I just don't know at the moment, but we're definitely reading these books that I'm currently reading and I plan on finishing the first one being Babel by R. R. H. Kwong. I always forget her middle name, Rebecca Kwong. Um, I am reading this. I'm like 27% the way through. I'm actually supposed to have it done by tomorrow, April 2nd. Um, to talk about it in the book club that Major Ashley and I 
and I have, but we'll see if that happens. Okay, so this is a Dark Academia social commentary novel um, centered around the University of Oxford or Oxford U University and their Babel department or Babel. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but definitely want to finish that. And then the two other books, or I'm also reading Paris by Paris Hilton, the audiobook. My hold relapsed at Libby, so I haven't been able to finish it. But once I get another, another loan, I will definitely finish this. So then that, and then the two last books I'm currently reading, because I'm reading a lot, is Grapefruit by Yoko Ono. I only have, like, this much left. Like, I'm more than halfway through so i'll definitely get this done it's just such an interesting book that my mind doesn't go to pick it up because it's yeah it's just interesting but i definitely want to finish that and then i also want to finish maggie o'farrell's my lover's lover i started this this was part of the um tbr prompt from last month and this one was my lowest rated on my tbr so i not that the book is bad so far but i think knowing that it's the lowest tbr or lowest rated i'm kind of like hesitant to be reading this um but definitely want to pick this up so yeah and that leaves us to the three new books that we picked out um the first one being one day by david nicholas which this had like a huge resurgence recently because the netflix tv adaptation tv series adaptation just came out so i'm really excited to read this because the show was phenomenal i did cry and so if the show was good i can't imagine or can't wait to see how this book relates um, so that's the first one. It is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and this is for my mystery prompt. I have heard such good things about this one, I just haven't picked it up yet. So I think this will lead to very good things. And then the last book I have is Me Before You by Jojo Meyer Moyers. Moyes? I've had this book for years, like five plus years, I think. And I watched the movie i love the movie i've never read the book so i'm really and of course i've heard just such good things about this so excited to read it those are all the books on my tbr i'm very excited so i am going to go thank you guys so much for watching let me know if i should keep on doing the tbr tbr jar prompts i always every time i try to say it it kind of stumbles but yeah that's the end of my video thank you guys so much peace and love bye guys